Yeah, well, there we go. I like how fast the Facebook thing works. Isn't that awesome? Apparently, Welcome. That's the thing. <laughs> we, we, I hit the button, darn it. And Facebook's like, no, if you don't add a title, we hate you. That's what it feels like, the seething hatred of Facebook. Have you noticed that lately? Facebook seems to hate everyone. I think it's just a social media thing at this point. Yeah. They've never liked anyone. They've liked, our, they've liked our money, but they don't they like it. They liked our anymore. money. They liked it when we were boosting posts. When we stopped boosting posts, suddenly they no longer gave a fuck. I am supremely <laughs> tired today. Uh, anyway, welcome to Vanishing Gates. You're at home and the source for the paranormal, the unexplained true crime. Normally cigars, we don't have any cigars right now, unfortunately. Mm. First time uh, I wanted one in a while, and now we don't have one. I know. The one time we want to have a cigar... Here we go. Oh. Uh, anyway, I am your host. We are your hosts. I am Jay, and this is uh, the covered in crap Jack. Covered in crap Jack. Yeah, I, I was cleaning Come out on, a that, sink. That rhymes pretty good. I was, cl- I was cleaning a sink. I actually have a video of it. I was cleaning out a sink, and we were shorthanded. There was only two of us at work for like an eight, nine hour shift, or like a nine hour shift. I think it might have been ten. I, I don't remember. I, Anyways, I nine deeply hours. Deeply regret not having shared that video. To this, so we could just play it. Yeah, it's literally, it's just a video of like <laughs> black tar coming up out of a sink, and I didn't know. I, I forgot the drain plug was behind me, <laughs> and I switched to freaking uh, the shop back to the uh, the, blo- the the blow future. You know, you you turn it around, you put it in the vent. Yeah, I'm aware how the how they work. Yeah, yeah, and I, I so I swapped, and because it wasn't, I couldn't get to the suction to work, so it wouldn't pull out whatever was in there. So, so you swapped from I went to from blow. suck to blow exactly like you know, <laughs> like like you're supposed you to. Multi talented. And uh, yeah, as one know, does, look at me. <laughs> I could hit a button, switch from suck to blow. Um, anyway, so I swapped the, the hose around, and I I did, you know, I plugged it in. There's no video of this one, but as soon as I plugged it in, it shot up the back of my butt and right at my back. <laughs> oh, I'm glad there's no video of that. And it's just I it's for one my Maybe. my back. <laughs> I don't get to see. My back and my pants have this crap all over it, and I stink to high heaven. And you're sitting in the studio chair right now. Yep. I smell like puke is what it is. I, I smell have like to vomit, replace the partially. studio chair is what you're saying. So next week, we need fine. to have new chairs in the studio. It's tried. It tried. It should be fine. Who vomits in those sinks if it smells it's, like vomit? What, dude, what's there, happening? there's something in these drains. It's it's because it's, like <laughs> it's built on a swamp. So there it must is, be like something. Is. Then, I'm not gonna lie. The so there must be something to do with that. But it's like rocks well. and and tar. It's it's not like a tar substance. You know what I mean? It's like tar black, but it's got like rocks in it, and it's like it's not mud. It looks like oily water basically, and it's nasty. Yeah. And, no, I saw the video. That was pretty nasty. That was nasty. And then it, I did it again, and I didn't expect it to do it worse the second so, time, and it just like exploded upwards and it hit me in the face, and I think it hit my coworker too, and we were just like. <laughs> We just, we'd already had a bad day. We'd been overworked. And so we just like slammed everything down, cleaned everything up and shut everything off and left. We're like, nope, screw uh, this. Uh, I just, so I'm not going to say where you work, but they do know it's food service. The v- listeners, the viewers and oh listeners, God, by now they know that you work in food service. Uh, and um, you do work in a building with other food service places next to it. I went to school from Malden. Malden. Hopefully that works. Yeah, I know. We talked about that. It's awesome. But uh, I'm just hoping... That none of the other food service places had backups like that after you decided. Oh, to that was that was my first thought when you saw that video. Out. I didn't even like when we saw that video and you were like, <laughs> you kind of looked at it and I was I stopped for a second. I was like, wait a minute, this is a joined uh, drainage yeah. pipe. Yeah, it's not oh, a single crap. Pipe. I have a feeling I just oh, blew God. back a bunch of stores with all this crap oh, in bro. it. Mm. That's that's not nice. just that's just, not nice. just like that. Just destroyed a bunch of stores. I hope, I hope no one's eating their food and just like my dude. My coworker <laughs> opened the uh, the shop back after I drained the pipe a little bit, and uh, he opens it and he's <laughs> and he he like legitimately almost vomits on my floor. Like it was uh, so it was bad, dude. And we were covered in this, and we're so, still covered in this. I haven't gone home yet, and I would like to. Uh, so after the show, folks who are listening and are not watching the live stream, um, Dave in chat says. Penis, penis, penis. Thank mm-hmm. you, Dave. Dave, that's a great poem. It's, 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 uh, it's, uh, is that what they, not, is that like a Canadian poem? It's not quite a haiku. I, no, not, not quite. Could you make no. that a haiku for us, Dave? Yeah. If you can make that yes. a haiku, Dave, we'd be really appreciative. That'd Dave be great. Chat. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Dave. We love you. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so you blew all this nasty crap all over the place and probably into other restaurants. Yeah. So, <laughs> If you work at one Sorry. of the places near me and you recognize my face, I deeply apologize for what I did to your floor, more than likely. And uh, oh, no, I don't care that much. It's not either. really your fault. It's management's uh, fault. And then getting in a fight with my manager Holding afterwards is just uh, amazing. It's always great. Yeah. You know, what's weird is that you were the manager. 
Yeah, well, you know me. I'm one of those people who who puts people before myself. Like I, I will That's put stupid. I put my employees in, in ahead of my own like my own concerns. You're, this is not the case now, and so basically, I'm just. Uh, do you remember getting in an argument for nothing? The old thing where guys out. would take their coat off to put it over a puddle so girls could walk by. Yeah, why would you do that? A real man would just push the woman down and walk over her. <laughs> That's what guys, I do I'm kidding. I don't really mean that. That's... <laughs> No, I, I just, I, I'm still pretty chivalrous. I just I grabbed the nearest the person and threw them I, down just, for her. Right now, every every feminist just got really mad at me. <laughs> and the fact is, fine. Be I mad. just I just grabbed but the nearest really human and threw. Oh God! Dave actually responded with IQ in chat. <laughs> Dave, that you want to read that one there? Magnanimous. Jack? <laughs> the penis is full, full of life. I must rest. <laughs> All right, you know what? It's That's uh, uh, the, the PP yeah, haiku. Ten out of ten. So, did I tell you that I'm making a Ouija board? No. Oh yeah, I got that redwood over there. That nice. Oh, you old said something redwood. about that. That's right. But then uh, my neighbor gave me a scroll saw, oh, so God. I can do all sorts of fun things because I didn't have. A scroll. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a Ouija board. So good. And I'm gonna sell them. If you guys are interested in buying like I'm excited. redwood Ouija boards, handmade by me, you let me know. Oh, email man. me at vanishinggates at gmail.com. Hashtag Ouija board. Well, don't hashtag, I guess, an email. Does it, it doesn't work that way, does it? No. I'm really not that fast on the Twitter thing. Just, just. I'm not a Twitter just, file. If you're Twittering or something like that, it's a hashtag. Twittering, but if you're emailing, you just put it in the header. Twistering. That's it. Just All right, so. Put it in, put the head in. Just, just a tip. Just sit. Thanks, Dave. Is I there got just a, a tip, Dave? Minds like a... So, uh, apparently our tech guy, Nick, is going to be working on the website again. So he's got that back up, apparently. Super fabulous. I haven't seen any change, but uh, that's the thing. Nice. So yay. Yay for our website, vanishinggates.com. Fantastic. Because I was smart enough to buy that, because everybody's going to jump with me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was jumping on the Take the Vanishing Gates name, right? I've been offered millions of dollars to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm too if Irish get, for if that. You get offered millions of dollars to shut up. We need to shut up promptly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad news today, though, that you don't care about, but I do because I'm actually heard... a basketball fan and I, I, I'm a fan yeah, of Kobe Bryant. Oh, Co- Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kobe the man Bryant. Mm, I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I know you will. That's great. I got enough hate already for that. The, what 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 I'm sad about is his his daughter. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. That's I didn't I didn't even I find out about give that. Two right less about Kobe Bryant, but his daughter though, was, that's very sad. I was already having a bad day, yeah. and I, lo- I logged in. I looked, and I was like, "Why the fuck? Oh my god!" I saw I saw Andrew post. So I was like, "No, nah, that's got to be a joke, yeah. dude." To be completely honest with you, um, actually, Dave, who's in chat, messaged me. Guys, by the way, if you hit me with text messages and, and hit me up on Facebook, I will respond to you directly. Um, I will actually communicate with you. I will be confused. So but Dave I may sent respond. me this message. Hey, Kobe Bryant died. My first response <laughs> as a guy living in California. Who's that? <laughs> Good Sincerely, call. I couldn't remember who it was. And Good then call. I remembered, oh, that's that guy that got uh, taken to court and had to pay off that girl that he was accused of um, assaulting a lot. So, yeah. I'm really sad about Kobe Bryant's daughter. I really don't care about Kobe Bryant. Sorry. I, I, I couldn't give two craps less. I haven't followed basketball since, I don't know, Clyde Drexler and things like that. No, no. I'm, I, I'm always I, I a guy Clyde. that would rather play the sport. You know Clyde. <laughs> Me and him are friends. You don't even know who that is. Clyde the Glide Drexler? Yeah, he is. Played for the Oregon uh, Trail Blazers. Now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Blazers <laughs> fan. I saw Blazers glasses okay, somewhere sitting there. Fantastic for you. Anyway, I, I don't... No, no. I, I say I'm a fan, but I'm not. Like, okay, I, I love sports. I love playing sports. I hate watching most sports. Yeah, it's because I want to be in the like, game, man. It yeah. bugs me. I want to be there doing it, except for when it comes to like MMA. I definitely don't want to be getting there and get my ass kicked. Yeah, that's that seems to be my biggest problem. Is I want to do the things that I want to do. But I have like, so I'm many friends that are stand. like I, I want to watch boxing because I want to box so badly. I'm just like, I've, I've told you many times. We'll throw on gloves and you can just kick my ass. It's fine. Yeah. Anyways, we're, we, we, we're, we're just we're, we're trying to focus on the fact that poor, you know, Kobe a, Bryant and his girl are gone now, and that's really sad. <laughs> yeah, it's really sad. His girl's yeah, gone, man. I can't, like, it's unfortunate. and he left kids behind, too, aside from that. Like, and that's uh, I mean, a helicopter crash. What the? What? I just think the night after LeBron passed him in all-time scoring. Who's that? 
LeBron James. Who's that? He now plays for the Lakers. I, he's he's called the King. Ask, I had to ask what a damn he's Laker was He's considered the earlier. best. He's the best basketball player to play the game. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, well, Michael has six rings. Kobe has like five, I think. And he has three. So I'm going to go ahead and say that rings talk, bullshit walks. And he isn't even like close tell that to, to Tom Brady, Larry Bird. Oh God, yeah, to, yeah to there, Tom we Brady go. there we right. go. Yeah, tell that's it to Tom Brady. football, not yeah, basketball. Doesn't though. matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess that's true. Still, anyway, um, Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback. I feel like the game. there's somewhere else we're gonna go. Why are we talking about sports? I don't know. We got on it for a second there, and then you were gonna tell me about um, a story the listener had. We were going well, I, we were gonna go into a little bit of what you had to say thing, and then that. But guys, by the way, this has been a terrible week. This week has sucked oh, yeah. all the butt. Forgive us for not being here last week. We've had yeah. I had food poisoning. <sighs> I had strep throat. I had um, oh god, uh, at two abscesses pop up in my mouth uh, or on my teeth because I, I have I have I have broken teeth um, from really bad a really really cut rate dentist. Did not fix the teeth and he capped them without like um, doing the repairs on the teeth. He capped them oh, and crowned really? them underneath and they rotted underneath the crown. And so I have like three or four teeth. And I don't know if anyone knows this, but dentists are not cheap. And I do not work a very good job to pay for said dentist. Most of them are pretty masochistic. Yes. Sadistic. Not Horrible masochistic. monsters, really. My sadistic. Opinion. Horrible monsters, all of them. Yeah, anyway. Sadists. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I had all that going on and then, you know, I had a cold and it was, it was a bad week and then I got stuck again at work. I got stuck, but this time no one would cover me and I was in and out of the bathroom like eight times because of food poisoning and I felt like crap. And, and so everybody that ate there is now dead. Kind of seemed, well, you know, that's the, that's the thing is, I, I, that's a, a conversation that people need to realize whenever they work in fast food is if your boss is trying to make you work and that's happening, it's not for your benefit to not go to work. It is because you can make your coworkers and people eat your food sick. That is why you stay home. And I get that a lot of places want to say, well, I showed up sick and I worked. Yeah, if you're working at a toy store or if you work in, like, retail and you show well, up sick, you do what I no do, one gives fine. a crap. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, you're not near people. You're not, like, constantly near a bunch of people. Uh, but if, well, you, if you're, I mean, like, if you're working if you with food. Maybe you have that coronavirus that's in yeah. America now. You hear about that? that oh, yeah. It's probably been here for a while. I know so many people it. that drink corona. Oh, that is a virus. But I'm tis. I, I just, I feel like the problem is, is, is um, you know, your boss doesn't get to make you work. You don't have to work. It, as that. soon as you get sick like that, you need to leave the premise. <laughs> I think I'm going to get, the I'm premises. not sure what hate mail I'm going to get premise? more of. Leave, leave the premises. premises. I don't know why I said premises. Premises. No, premise. I'm not sure what, uh, premise is different. I'm not sure what more hate mail, what I'm going to get more hate mail about, the Kobe Bryant thing or the coronavirus thing. <laughs> I'm going to get some hate then this week. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Kobe Bryant thing, because, uh. uh womp, womp. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, so we're not gonna we're not doing a particularly long show because you know I'm still getting over crap and I've had a bad day. It's been a bad week for both of us. We're, we apologize for not being here next week. We really are also continuing our around the world <laughs> Wait, special next week. You're apologizing for next week? No, apologizing for last week. Oh, last I meant week. to say last week. But, if I did, we I, I've only had like seven hours of sleep for the past three days. All right, so I'm dead is, tired. This is gonna be our set time though, right? Because you came in like Sunday last at seven. Should be right. Shit went south, and you're like. We're doing this. I'm on it. Gung ho. Boom, boom, boom. We're doing it right this week. We're going to set a time. Blah, 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 blah. So you mean this. You mean it. You're dedicating. You're committing. Are you Are you forming a committal relationship to our viewers and listeners? Perhaps. All Perhaps. right. So 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On Sundays. Vanishing Gates on will start Sundays. appearing at a time we'll period. We'll be live. Now, those of you who want to listen to the podcast format, you'll hear us a little bit after that because we have to process things. And, yeah, there's going to be an edit a different period and of time. send things out. I but don't edit anything. but uh, We're going to keep with our world tour of, of cryptids, and we're in... Where are we at? Uh, we did it a couple weeks ago, so I forget. Um, well, we started with Australia. We're in Romania right now. fire. Yeah. And then we're, we're going to come go like, don't worry, we'll come back to Australia eventually. It's just we're doing like we're not doing one country and then done. We're just going to move from well, place. See, to place. I wasn't even sure what premise you had for this because this was your idea. The cryptid. Well, I wanted tour, to do one entire country and then move on. But I do want to give a little bit of a shout out here. Um, if you guys are into watching gamers, people play games uh, online, uh, check out Country USA guy on the on the, the YouTubes and the Facebooks. Okay. He's my buddy. He needs your help because he's, uh, well, he's all the special. Mm. Special needs. He's actually really good at video games. He's really bad at playing with you correctly. <laughs> 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 he doesn't people well, but tell you what, man, he's uh, quite capable of playing video games. Love you, Christian. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, no, we're, we're going to continue the Crypto World Tour. It's not going to be like one set country. We'll come back to them eventually. It's just we, we've got um, schedule periods of time we're going to be doing this. Um, this week we're doing Romania. We're going to just throw some random crap out after the show or next week. and just We're not sure if we're going to tell you every week what we're going to do. Um, well, how, how, mostly because I hate the idea of setting how it. How do you want to really approach this Crypto World do. Tour thing? Do you want to do this like for like um, – the season of the show is Crypto War Tour, or do you want to just like uh, mix it up here and there? Because I still want to have. We're going to mix it up stuff. because we're going to do, um, in a couple weeks, we're going to do a flood special. We're going to talk about the floods around the world, like different lore about the flood. Like oh, in you Australia. Mean, like, when God flooded the world yeah. and saved everyone, and everyone has the same story because the Bible's correct and you're wrong, and I don't care what you think. And... Sorry. Okay, Sorry. anyways. Sorry. Dark keep thumping there. that. Anyways. Noah, um, Noah, 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 can't you see? Oh Sometimes the flood just hypnotized me. I just gonna, made that up. That's pretty dope. We're going to go ahead and we're going to um, do the, do, do uh, a flood special about. Um, I think we're going <laughs> to. I'm going to hate for that too. Talk about New I Zealand. I just can't not get hate today. Uh, I, there's there's an Alaska or Inuits um, up north have them. Uh, Australia, New Zealanders have it. Uh, Mayans have it. Yeah, every, Romans, culture every culture pretty much has it. The world has but a story. We're going to do. We're not going to do a special where we do like two of each flood and then like that. We're going to do the full special in one because I mean there's not a lot to cover. Okay, Everybody hold has on. a flood special. I Everybody. will agree to this on two things. I will I'll, I will I will agree to that particular. The flood special on a couple of conditions. Number one, you have to figure out how to get Giorgio Sokolos on this. Okay, first off, I don't Number know. Number two, Giorgio S- Aliens. Sokolos. Oh, oh. Giorgio Sokolos. Uh, you figure out how to get him on here so we can talk about how it's aliens, and then he and I will debate because it's obviously the Bible. Obviously. Well, I mean, if I can, I will. <laughs> and then. The other one, that's that's one condition. The second condition is you have to find some archaeologists. At least one archaeologist. One archaeologist. Just one. Just one. All right, so and there will be no fuzz special. There's local ones. Because I have no archaeologists yeah, exactly. I know well, offhand. Nah. I, I know nobody offhand, nor this George There's guy. a big university where you live, right down the road. You know, I will. I, I will do my damnedest to do both of these things. Do you know they found that, was it the uh, well, Jurassic Park month, made it really popular that uh, basically it was a giant crocodile with a fan? Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Yep. And they realized, and they found this thing up in the mountains, so they thought it was more like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. But then they realized this thing lived in the water, and they found what the bone structure like because they actually found one almost complete. And it was obviously more of a giant freaking crocodile. There was a whole documentary about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a feeling that's probably what it's about. Is there's um there are a couple spined uh, creatures like giant crocodiles, and I think that's actually what it is. It's not a spinosaurus, you know, the the T Rex version. It's the actual like, it's well, a yeah, large, no, they, large they actually, ass like, crocodile like well, creature. They were able to go up. It looked like because the back legs were much larger, mm-hmm. but they looked more like they were able to like dive in and get stuff out of the water, like a water hunter. So like an alligator and a croc, they don't usually hunt underwater. They usually skim surface. So they find something they can attack at the surface of the water, and they grab it, especially uh, crocodiles. Or, yeah, no, gators. will grab them and spin around and break up the bones until they can just mash it all up into, like, first of all, who doesn't like mashed food? They well. chew. Because they don't chew a lot, but they have these really, really powerful jaws, and their body's strong. So what they'll do is they'll grab you, and uh, they'll get a hold and start ripping and pulling, and they'll spin around Yeah, a lot. death roll. Yeah, the death roll. Crocodile, right. and you toss that. But then they'll take it. They won't just eat it right there because they can't. They'll take it and actually go to their den and bury the prey in there. Like, they'll tuck it in there until it rots a little more and then nibble at it as they go. That's, uh, that's how most marriages work, I think. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway, right. where were we? I, I, I started talking about dinosaurs and then crocodiles, and I lost my place. <laughs> hey, Keith and Chet. Yes, we miss y'all. Where, hey, where'd Keith, you go? we love you. Oh, Terry and Chet, we love you. What's up, Terry? Anyway. Uh, anyway so, um, we're doing we our world tour. We're on Romania. I did, no one tells me anything. I'm so busy all the time. You just don't listen. <laughs> I'm just always busy. No one tells me shit anymore. <laughs> Anyway, I like how so. you censored yourself that for just describe a death roll on rotting flesh for a crocodile on a tube. That's okay. I also profusely use the saying anal contusions is okay as well. <laughs> anal contusions. 
Why are we saying that? Oh, man, that'd be a great clan tag. Ale conditions? Oh, for those of you who don't it's play okay. video games, it's not a racial thing. It's just a it's clan not, tag. It's not the clan. Hate you both for ignoring me so long, Tara says in deep, chat. Deep Whatever, dude. Chat, everybody. All right, guys. Also, check out the Angry yeah. Cherry if you're into video games. Let's actually talk about the show. There you go, Tara. Love you. Love you long time. Anyway. The Pricolisi. We're going to talk about something the, today. What? <laughs> We're going to talk about the Pricolisi. I I don't speak Romanian, so I have no idea if I'm pronouncing this no. right. The Pricolisi. If you speak Romanian in chat, please let us know in English because none of us speak. Neither of us speak Romanian. <laughs> the Pricolisi. I have like the thing is I have no stories even, about this, but everybody actually most most cultures have a story about this this creature. And the Pricolisi is actually essentially it's the idea. Have you ever you remember in Bram Stoker's how Dracula could turn into a wolf? Yes. The Pricolisi isn't a vampire though. Mm. It's actually a man that is killed and it's turned into a wolf. Wait. He's, he turns into a wolf. So he's a Vindigo. Essentially, he's a werewolf. But I know I said Wendigo the, with a V in it, like the I'm trying to be Northern the European. The Vavich. <laughs> the Vavich. The, the Wendigo. But, um, anyways, the Pricklesy, the Pricklesy, <laughs> the Prick, the Prick, <laughs> as we were to. The freaking Prick. <laughs> that prick the son of a bitch. We will refer to as <laughs> on. It is a wolf man, a werewolf, that when it dies, though, it can turn it, or it turns into a vampire. For some reason, when it dies, it turns into a vampire. Wait. But it's said that these things only exist. Hold the phone. So, guy yeah, dies, vampires in Romania. What can I say? Guy dies, turns into wolf. Wolf dies, turns into vampire. Yep. Werewolf <laughs> dies, turns into vampire. I. That's where the idea for like Bram totally Stoker, where he could this. turn into different animals, comes up. Mm. Is this because there's different creatures in Romania I, lore that all come back to vampire? All leads, all roads lead to vampires in Romania. Okay, all of them. I, I maintain this. All if leads a guy to is selling fruit, if he's a fruit vendor. And he tries to start selling vegetables. Oh, really? He dies and turns into a vampire in Romania. I think that's what happens here. Is if you stop being one thing, you become a vampire I'm in Romania. I'm 100 sure. If you're in Romania, Night and you're at a Keith. bar, and you take the foam off the beer only and don't drink the beer, you turn into a vampire in Romania. In Romania. As long as you're in Romania. If Just you're in Romania, Romania, anywhere else, and someone texts you and you leave it on red, turn to a vampire. What does that mean? You you don't you don't answer you just read it oh. so they can see that you've read it but you haven't answered so How you're that see guy you read it because on Facebook Am whenever I you so look at old it that I can't oh shows, oh shows yeah yeah okay yeah yeah I see that okay yeah, then I'm old if you leave it on red bullocks you turn into a vampire oh so common knowledge there's a lot of dudes in Romania on Romanian tw- like what's it uh, Tinder most of them are all vampires if Romanian you make a Tinder Tinder's account in Romania you're probably vampires. a vampire. Dude, did you see that chick that like posted the Tinder thing about how to fix my wire, my dryer? <laughs> I, just, I she just like posted on Tinder. She's like, I honestly just need. I to I fix my saw dryer. that. <laughs> if you answer those kind of things and you actually fix dryers, you're you turn to a vampire. First Romania. of all, that's one of the best things we've ever seen oh in my God, life. Beautiful. And secondly, why your guy is responding to that? If they know how to fix a goddamn we, dryer, we almost started this. Bro. We almost did it. <laughs> We were so close to talking about the Pricolisi. All right, Pricolisi time. No, no, it's okay. We no, can talk about it. No, we Go home, sleep. No, nope, continue. Anywho, so it's said that these are um, wicked men in life, essentially. Wicked men who die, like evil men who do harm and want to do harm. It's, it's, it sounds like, though, but it sounds like just any guy that doesn't like do anything he's supposed to do. Sounds like being a bastard is kind of like you're suddenly a, a prickalisi. Oh, I just <laughs> I didn't walk the old lady across the street. I, like, I forgot to use my blinker. God, we'd be surrounded by vampires prick-a-lisi. here. <laughs> no, pri- oh yeah, hey, see, I'm on to something here. Pricks. I didn't uh, use my turn signal, and now I'm a vampire. I didn't. Uh, oh, I didn't rewind the VHS tape. Wait, so <laughs> when they die, they vampire. turn into a werewolf. First, and yes. then a vampire. Bad men turn into werewolves. Werewolves become into vampires. Become vampires. <laughs> the vampires. I feel like that's like John Mayer. Vampires like... become ash when they die, <laughs> and then when the ash is spread, the ash becomes a vampire again, which then turns into a werewolf, which uh, then turns into no. That's really like, uh, a like, person. No, but now it's literally not. this is a John Mayer song. <laughs> Uh, Think about it. Just throwing it out there that that's how I'm sure how it happened. That's like Daughters by John Mayer, like you know, but different. Like, hey, 
Don't daughters be a turn easy. into vampires. <laughs> turn no, to it's not Lisi's daughters though. It's dudes. It's all vampires. dudes. Apparently, it's like if you're a crappy dude, and you turn into a vamp, a werewolf, and dead werewolves turn into vampires, and then they turn back into vampires. I, I don't even know. The Romanians have some crazy stuff. They have some crazy. The Eastern stuff, Bloc yeah. is kind of strange. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is the same country that gave us Strigoya, though, so... The what? Strigoya. Oh, yes. The vamp- vampires. The vampire. Vampire. The vampire. They're not, they're not actually the country that gave that to us. I mean, that's the been vampire. around uh, way prior. I mean, way back. O- Ovid's uh, Metamorphosis talked about most of people the, transforming into things. Most Hence of your the term standard, most of your standard monster affairs that aren't considered cryptids because Hold they're on. just myths. Most of your standard monster affairs. Well, I just immediately picture <laughs> <laughs> King Kong and Mrs. Godzilla like sneaking around and then shit goes south. <laughs> Don't lie, that's funny. It's been a bad week, guys. It's been a terrible week. Oh it's been my awesome. God, it's been one. One hell of one. Anyway, so the Prickalisi uh when it dies because of vampire. And that's where the ideal of uh um God, was it? Vampires turn into different animals come from. I'm tired. Oh, that wasn't that What's Your Face movie? Underworld? No, it wasn't oh, Kate Blanchett's that, movie. Oh, oh Kate, <laughs> Kate Beckinsale? I don't know. I know she was in leather Beckinsale. and she had brown hair. I don't fucking know. The movies were kind of fun to watch for leather. about five and a half minutes. That is good for you. Before I turned them off. Uh, I think it's, it's pleather. It I'm pretty sure it's pleather because everyone in Hollywood's vegans. Right? That's a new thing, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe? Anywho, so, point is... Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Point is, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> it's going to come you up every what? time, dude. <laughs> I, tr- I tried. I showed up. Hollywood, it's going to come up, man. I'm not gonna... I showed up covered in garbage, not ready for garbage. this at all. Covered in garbage. But we're trying. You're still cleaner than be. Hollywood. <laughs> we need your views. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe for a crappy show. Why are you mouthing the mic? I'm not, you're not even mouthing it. You're just like I'm letting it comfort you. I'm being cheeky. If you get electrocuted, well, the electrical storm is not my fault. <laughs> he backs off that fast. Look at that. Why is everyone so scared of electricity? I don't know. It can't hurt you. Electricity is a, is a lie. No, it just does what it does. <laughs> if you're smart, it just hits you and it doesn't hit <laughs> yes. you. And how... So, Prickalisi is basically a werewolf. Yes. And so, most people have heard the lore about these things, like mm-hmm. different areas. Like, um, I can't remember what they're called in every area, but they have them from Louisiana to, uh, I think, where we're at, they even have some lore. But, actually, wait, do they actually have lore? You know, the skinwalkers. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're talking about, but that's a different kind of thing, because you put the skin on, and you become that animal. Oh, it's just skinwalkers up here, then. It's not werewolves. Well, it's hard to differentiate. Do we even have skinwalker lore up here? We don't have it's any novel. real, like... Yana Glancha is... Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. We don't have, but, like... Well, no, no, no. It, it, well, we don't. We're, we're white. Uh, Our area only has we're Bigfoot. northern European white guys who came here. No, I mean, like, the area we live in only has, like, generations Bigfoot ago. On, its, on its... No, there's absolutely stories of skinwalkers and shit out here. Really? Because mm-hmm. I've only ever heard stories of Bigfoot. Well, because they don't talk about it. The Native Americans, like, it, and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not... Do not take this as an affront... If I could find someone on here who wants to come and talk about this, because they have talked about it before, I would love to talk to you about it. They don't talk about it because if you in you talk about the creature, the skinwalker, the bad thing, they come to you and they go after you. Hmm. There's a lot of real deep belief that this is a thing that happens. Um, so with the skinwalker, especially Yana Glancha in um, Navajo, I think it is, in, all the way up to in, into Canada and further, like, all of the American area that I know of has a story like this outside of South America. I don't know about that. I haven't checked into that part. Sorry, guys. I haven't cataloged the research for South American lore on werewolves. But, uh, no, really, the idea of the skinwalker, mostly what the native tribes, they believe, from what I've heard and from what I've come across, it's someone who has done something terrible or does like the european thing where they take the skin of an animal and wear it and become that animal it's a very similar belief between native american tribes 
and the Northern European tribes. I've heard, from what I've heard, I mean, there's obviously differentiations there. Yeah. But you take on the traits of this animal. Now, some people believe that you actually transform completely physically into this creature, hence the werewolf. Wow, that makes sense. Okay. And you move into it. I don't but know. I, I like to think my werewolves are just. <laughs> just. Misunderstood thylacines. They're in love with girls who are in love with vampires that oh. sparkle like diamonds. Where, oh, werewolf. Oh, I was going to go with Mr. <laughs> Science Theater, and you went somewhere worse. Far, far worse. Do you have anything to talk about? <laughs> Not that. Was that a Stephanie Myers yeah. joke? Oh, you know what I feel bad about? That you know that? That's the paranormal part of this show, is I knew what that name was, because I the real... never... Mystery of the show right now is how did he know? How did I know that? Because honestly, know? I've never read a damned one of those books. I will never read one of those books. Okay. Arr, 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 arr. I'm tired. All right. Anyway, th- so we do have a story. <laughs> Someone told me. Listener story. Well, I'm not really a listener, but a person. A person listener, story, everybody. You were a person story. Listen to this everybody. person story. It's very interesting. Very short, though. So, here, Scotia Mill. Now, Scotia, for those of you who don't know, is a town not too far south of us. We are in Northern California. Scotia's not far. And uh, Scotia Mill is haunted. And she says, I'm not going to say her name because I didn't ask her if she wanted me to say her name. That would be inapropos. I don't know which mill it is, but they have a ghost. Now, when she says that, I don't know which mill it is. First of all, there's a lot of mills (laughs) in one area. It's not just one building. Uh, but they have a ghost. He either likes you or he doesn't. Apparently he died in a, she said killing accident, but I'm pretty sure that meant machining accident. There's a spider right there. Uh, Look at that. A milling accident, not killing accident. Uh, but he pulled guys out of machinery before it kicked on and pushed them out of the way before they fell into things. So the machinery kicked on, and the guy was pulling people out of the way before he fell into it, basically. Now, uh, he's also known to play tricks on you, and will try to literally trip you when you're tired. Sounds like a nice dude. Trip you right into that millionaire press. She says, my uncle swears he saved his life. Not the uncle saved the guy's life, but the guy saved the uncle's life. I was going to say, if the uncle swears, he was wrong. <laughs> yep. But you also have to be nice to him. So, basically, the ghost is out there in one of the Scotia Mills saving people's lives. I know it's a short story, but it was pretty cool, because I asked him, hey, any stories? Oh, yeah, I got this. I'm like, you didn't take me seriously? No, oh, it's like the, the name of our... <laughs> Or the name of our show, The Vanishing Gate, says it starts in a mill. We haven't Mills done that yet. Creepy. I don't think we've done that. I think we did a long time ago. No, kind I of think we part. pre-recorded it and never got there with the story, the story behind the story. The story behind the story of Vanishing Gates. One day we'll tell y'all. Maybe. One day. It's a Mandela effect. It's definitely the Mandela effect. Mm. So, guys, if you have, like, cryptid creatures and stuff and myths in your area or paranormal experiences, please let us know. Just email us at vanishinggates at gmail.com. Check us out on Facebook if you don't already follow on Facebook. And honestly, like, if you send me a Facebook message to Vanishing Gates, I will respond to you. It might take me a while, but I will. If I don't, then Nick, our tech guy, will. And I, I can't promise that will go well, but... <laughs> I can. Jack won't. He's clearly busy. <laughs> anyway, so uh, please, though, tell us your stories of the Unexplained the Paranormal. That's what we really want to hear. I was actually listening to, uh, oh, by the way, shout out to our buddy Tom Vlasis, the Paranormal Patriot. I was listening to one of his shows earlier because I've been trying to catch up on podcasts after the last couple weeks I've had. It's just been a nightmare. And I got to listen to his show, and he talked about uh, UFO incidents I didn't know about from the 90s. I was like, what? I had no idea that happened. And he played, like, the 911 tapes and whatnot. Wow. I know the story of that. <laughs> I don't. Tom always does a really good show, though. He always does. I mean, the guy always brings it up front. He's way more pro than I am, for sure. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't give you guys the the Vanishing Gates treatment. He, he gives you the full, hey, here's the real thing you're listening to. Enjoy this. Here's facts. Gives you the full Monty. And, you know, if you're into uh, the paranormal and the political part, he, he, it's the fastest growing parapolitical podcast he says 
And um, I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, two reasons for that. First of all, I think he's the only parapolitical podcast. Well, <laughs> and secondly, it should be fast growing because the guy about... does such a great damn job. He's awesome. If we're going to talk about something political. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm really annoyed right now. Why? Have you heard of this cancel culture bullshit? Yes. Okay. What Joe, happened to us? Joe Rogan. What? They did Joe Rogan. What? Yeah. He endorsed He endorsed Bernie Sanders. And you know how open-minded George Joe Rogan is. He comes to his own conclusions, but he's also willing to listen to people. Yeah. He talks to everybody from all sides. He just, he's, he prefers I just, Bernie. I just watched a show like this morning. No, he wasn't literally it's canceled. Friday. It's called cancel culture. It's the no, idea I know that what you, cancel culture is. You talk shit, shit to you people. Down. But yeah, are you, you, you basically just... you. So... He he. It's hate speech. Elected. It it's it's, it's hate non speech is what cancel culture is. Yeah, I don't agree with you, so I'm going to shut you down, so you have no right. To he talk. elected to. Um, mm, that's what that is. To say that he this didn't happen to endorse us. Bernie, but he was asked. <laughs> he didn't endorse him, but he said, "Who would you vote for?" He's like, eh. he's like current field and climate and stuff like that. He's like, I probably I probably vote for Bernie, and he was just talking in in during a show, and Bernie Sanders touted this and immediately got blown up. By the group that he basically, you know, made in the first place, the the crazy people. And he essentially, you know, having made this group of crazy people, they then turned on him because Joe Rogan once upon a time said that um, uh, Fallon Fox. Oh, that guy? Should, yeah, that. that oh, yeah. Yo, cancel me transgender. for that. Transgender. Cancel. You know, we've talked about Fallon Fox before, and it pisses me off that a guy can beat up girls because he uh, couldn't make it as a guy fighter. I'm just going to point Bullshit. this out right now. Um, if, I, if I've if i ever Sorry. met anyone Sorry. who is... Look, I, I, I don't on. hate anyone who's transgender. Let me clarify. I don't care about your... I don't care about we your don't sexuality. Need to know. I don't care about that. But when you are a dude who can't make it as a fighter, and so suddenly you want to hit girls so you can make it in, in the world, I don't. I don't support you. It's bullshit. Well, that's the that's the problem with Fallon Fox. That's the, I, guess, I agree with Joe Rogan, pure and simple. I agree with everybody who talks about it, which is simply in the MMA community was that he was a shitty fighter who couldn't do what he was he wanted to do, and so he saw an extreme measure so he could hold gold and titles, and, that, and then he wound up breaking I, a woman's I, orbital bone, uh, and then worse, he wound up breaking like several bones. He's he's a vicious. And I keep saying he, he's look, I don't care if you want to tame, change your name to Caitlin, I'll call you Caitlin. I don't give a crap. You know, it, but it, here, look, I... Oh. Hold on, here's what I like to say is this. If someone were to ask me openly, they would say, hey, you know me as a person, they showed me respect, they talked to me as a person, they were like, hey, I would rather refer to this, then yes, you've asked politely, you're respectful, I will respect you and give you what you ask for. Absolutely. Simply out of respect. But if you're an over paid asshole who hit a woman with a car and think that I'm going to somehow pay you respects because you changed gender so you didn't have to go to prison or if or you got you in trouble to for assaulting women. a woman in a hotel room you paid her off and then got killed in a helicopter crash I'm not going to feel bad for you hashtag Kobe Bryant okay. it's the same damn thing see well, this is the thing this is what are. people have a problem with and this is what bugs me about it look if you guys I didn't say girls I, didn't I, don't, say I don't care I don't care I'm not I don't I'm not know that Kobe Bryant did that game. which is why I'm well, just no like, I know he paid people off so well, I don't. Payday. I don't know the story. Yeah. I know I loved him as a basketball player. And I, I regardless, I don't care. Look, the same with the, the thing with oh, fuck the Fallon Fox thing is weird because I know people who are transgender and are awesome, and I have no problem, and I would support you wholeheartedly, absolutely. If you're homosexual, straight, whatever, I don't care. I don't care about that. I care about you as a person, and it bugs me that. Some people take advantage of that to excel themselves at life. They propel themselves with something that is, you know, this. And the, the Fallon Fox person is a person who literally couldn't make it as a dude fighter. And he's an evil man. Like, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. He's no, evil. He's, he's he, an he, evil he, person. He, he wants to beat up women. People. He wants to get... Six, I don't know if he wants to beat up women, but he couldn't beat up a guy, so he wants to beat up girls. And that's not to say he couldn't fight women. Or men, because I know women that can kick men's ass that are way better than hold on. fucking Fox. What was it? Was it Ronda Rousey or Chris Cyborg that wouldn't fight him? No, no, no. Hold on. Fuck that guy. I think it was fight. Cyborg. It was but Cyborg. the best part Someone was fight a dude. I can't remember who Fallon and Fox Chris fought. Cyborg could kick my ass. He doesn't. Hold on. <laughs> the best part about this is he's broken orbital bones. He breaks bones, but he doesn't actually have an undefeated record. He's no. lost like three times to three different women fighters, so it's not impossible to beat a dude if you're a woman. He, they're just more it's, technically skilled it's than so he is. Irrit- We're going to get so much hate for this. Like, this has already been the hate episode. We've had a few of these. Well, the thing is, is, is uh, we're not I'm, saying... If, if he had, if, this if is Fallon politics. Fox had, this is had common been, sense. Yeah. This is common sense. My daughter wants to wrestle. 
if my daughter goes to wrestle and she's competing against a dude who wants to be a girl because he wants to wrestle, I'm going to say no. Hell no. And there's a couple reasons for this. Uh, one of them, I have a background in martial arts. The second one is I, I know my daughter and once he body slams her, she's going to fucking tear him up <laughs> and not according to the rules. Like she's throwing knives at him and shit. Like <laughs> fucking seriously. Look, I mean, be whatever you want to be. I get that. I get that. Be who you want to be. But don't, there's don't a live limit. Don't people's standards. There's got to be a limit. There has to be a limit to stand. There has to be a standard limit. You, let me put it like this. Work, dude. It doesn't work for there not to be a limit to standards. Okay, I'm fine. You're whatever you feel like. The problem here is is what what, what what the problem Maybe I have with this way, is I can't tell you. But. The problem I have is that just changing your gender or being transgender or you know being a millionaire like Kobe Bryant doesn't make you bulletproof from the crap that you do in life that affects um, other people. Epstein didn't kill himself, so exactly. You're not you're not an immortal god. You don't get a pass on it just because all of a sudden you're something else. You don't get to claim it, and that's the biggest problem. Is people claim all these things to get away with shit, and you're just like, dude, when does it stop? When do you just no, stop pulling out a card? I don't, I don't pretend to be great. Like what the hell? Like. I... <laughs> When do you just when do you hold people accountable? Because the problem is, is when people don't allow you to ho- be held accountable. When you don't allow someone to hold someone accountable, like Fallon Fox, accountable for what he's done, you don't allow him to be held accountable for the fact that it doesn't need to be there. It's going to keep happening. People are going to keep doing it. And, and guess for what? Those of you don't want, I'm just telling you this. He hang out with him for five minutes. The people who then are let us the people who think it's he. cool that you don't get to you don't get to allow you don't get to stop these people from pulling this card is the, or you know people in general from pulling these cards is the same type of person who's at the end of the, the movie where the hero stands over the villain has the gun on him and says no I won't kill you because I am not going to become you I'm not like you meanwhile the camera pans to the 3,000 dead bodies behind you you just fucking murdered who didn't have anything to do with what's happening here this is a bill knife actor dude literally d- 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 it's a bill knife that's exactly what it is what? Like, do you know what that means the bill knife actor no. It, so many people today think Bill Nye is an actual scientist. No, he's just an engineer. No, he had a degree in engineering. He's another scientist. He's a science celebrity. Yeah. Now, people listen to everything he says. Oh, yeah. And I'm not hating on Bill kids. Nye. Actually, I think he's really entertaining. No, yeah. But he was entertaining. It's, if he was a science guy, he'd be like what Jordan Peterson does. Yeah, but... Well, biology is a thing that still exists. Sometimes. Look, I don't... Look, and I'm... If you're transgender or whatnot i don't want you to feel like we don't appreciate you we do and you can please message me whole we'll have conversations and you can actually hit me up directly and we'll have a conversation if you're sincere if you're in that situation and you can enlighten me on this i'm Look, down for it but the point is this guy fallon fox is a guy who really couldn't make it as a male fighter he's such a damaged person he needs help the guy needs help that he just yeah, beats up women because he couldn't else. beat up dudes, and he can barely beat up women. That's what transitioned him was his fighting I think, career. I think one of the biggest and things I irritating. can say is it, it's an insult to people that are transgender. It is a freaking insult. People that change their gender just to excel in life. That's an insult to people that are actually going through the actual transgender disorder because there is a disorder. Dysphoria, the, gender dysphoria. Yeah. Gender dysphoria is a thing. Sorry, I don't mean to say disorder, guys. Don't don't be too offended by that, please. I know you are, but don't. Um, <laughs> don't. But they're, they're, <laughs> I, I actually do understand. I don't understand, but, but I appreciate where you're coming from. But there really is something going on, and people take advantage of you. You should be the most offended people out there by this no, if you're actually experiencing gender dysmorphia and whatnot dysphoria. you should be the most offended person out there by this you should be outraged and there are some that are and it I makes mean, total sense the thing I, that i i think that we could say the, the the thing we could say the most is there's this misnomer that when people don't want to just hand over uh different titles and different things that it's because we're trying to be cold or we think you're not a person or we think you don't deserve some sort of like standards in life to be happy but the thing is this you can't just go around assuming people are going to know something about you and you you're not special i'm sorry you're not you can put on a tag and say you're something you are but you're not i disagree you are you are cared about and loved by the people around you and if you were to talk to me i'm going to treat you like a person i will treat you normally i will treat you with respect but the fact of the matter is just saying you're something different saying you're gay or saying you're something or saying you're trans just to have a card under in your pocket 
does not make you special. Well, see, and, and, at the end of the day, it doesn't uh, levitate you above everyone else. It doesn't lift you above the crowd. You are exactly like everyone else. You're just claiming a card for people who actually have these things going on in their lives yeah. just so you can get okay, some kind of a benefit. Sense. And for the people in their lives who actually have this going on, decide, you think that the right half of the country, you think that another side of the country hates you, or you think people with these different opinions hate you, but they don't. That's not what people think. It's that people are concerned that there are morons out there who will do anything to get away with stuff, and they're utilizing something that's real <laughs> to go ahead and get away with crap. Dude, I, I once had a gay guy slap my ass, and he got offended that I was offended he slapped my ass. And that's a problem. It, it, like, he was offended. And you know I said? I'm like, dude, don't, don't do that again. What, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, dude, no, it's not appropriate. Like, if I did that to a chick, I'd be in trouble. Like, what the yeah. hell? You get to walk away from it, Scott Clean. Scott free and shit. Like, yeah. And you know what? It doesn't matter. The guy was drinking. I get it. He made a bad decision. I didn't knock his block off. I mean, that, this is one of the biggest he problems. Also is, had is... firm hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's best we, kisser ever. Nobody hates anyone outright just because of a simple thing. There, there's a misnomer that's Minus laid on people. There, well, they're, they're, like look at look at the religious community. There's a lot of hate leveled at oh them. Oh my gosh, dude! Let me tell you something about the re religious community, though. <laughs> Some of them are assholes. Mm, yeah, a lot of them like, aren't the greatest them, people ever. A lot of them are kind of not that great. I tell you what, if you're so self focused <laughs> that all you care about is what you think is right, <laughs> it's not going to go well for you. It might go well for you, but it ain't going well for anybody else around you. Yep. And that's proper, not right. Because yep. uh, I I know for experience. As a used to be like preacher, like it, it's not great, man. Like it's not good. It's not pretty times. It's time for Jack to hit the old dust of trail. Now that you've caused all the problems in the world, yes. Now, us, that I've, I've now that you've ahead. riled up the dust. Hey, look, I was just talking about. Yeah, you what just. Was I talking wasn't about? talking about. Yeah, uh, cryptids. Cryptids. And that turned into uh, us getting cancel cultured. Precolisi. Yeah, we're totally going to be cancel culture. We don't really have to worry about that. I think we cancel culture a long time Listen, ago, to be honest with you. I would hope that you would cancel culture us. Please hashtag Will the crap out of Bunch of Gates. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to get famous? Let's do this. I I would just prefer to make the money back that I've spent into this that you haven't spent any into. So, uh, I give you my time. Uh, Isn't that something to you? <laughs> I'll bill you back with mine. I'll bill you back I'm, with my time. I'm guessing my proration will be a lot more than yours. Mm -hmm. Dude. Um, I'm not paying us. I like how I like how MN chat comes in and like responds to someone who left the chat over like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> yes. Good job in chat. We love you in chat. And by the way, I, as the listeners know is our mom. Don't kill her. She's nice. It'd be nice to her. Yeah, actually she'll probably probably beat you to it. She'll kill you. Alright, I want to go home and sleep now. Death face punches. So Let's recap the show real quick, just so we know where you're coming from. Um, you have insulted Strigoi. What was that? How did insult Strigoi? Uh, transvestites. Prickalisi. Uh, Prickalisi, that's what. Uh, I insulted transvestites. You want to fight Fallon Fox instead of just Vin Diesel now. I feel like there's a pattern with you and wanting to fight celebrities that might be into you. I'm not. I'm, I'm pretty sure Vin Diesel's still on the table for you. I feel like I don't want to fight Fallon Fox. Oh. Uh, I'm you probably know, still not strong enough to fight Fox. <laughs> I, I don't have the skill The funny part is you didn't brush off Vin Diesel so fast. Bring it on, Vin. Ooh. Open, open challenge to Vin Diesel. What do you want to do with him? Cover oil on his head? and. Can I just go now? <laughs> nope. No, 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 you dropped us down this rabbit hole. Okay. Nope. You started this. You wanted to be controversial. You, you, you started You wanted it. to talk about stuff like this. And I just wanted are, to mention the, the fact that Joe Rogan got fucked up. Are they, they're screw, trying to say that Joe Rogan isn't a good person. Hey, that's, that's all I'm, I'm not saying say. he's not. I'm not saying Joe Rogan's he is. a great person. He's a good podcaster. He's funny. He's awesome. Watch Joe Rogan. I, I agree. Watch Joe Rogan. And then you had the rabbit trail in the Fallon Fox. I, di I didn't rabbit trail. Mm, maybe you did. A little bit. Fallon Fox, if you're listening, 
bring your dude ass girl looking guy yourself over here and Jack wants to wrestle with you. <laughs> oh no I don't. <laughs> we'll do it on a trampoline. Someone call the cops so I can go home. <laughs> I need help. Why did you start this? It's so just, terrible. I don't, I don't Why do you home. you always want to bring up this political stuff? I feel like I feel like I didn't do it this time. Oh no, you you did. <laughs> I disagree. Mm. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening and watching Vanishing Gates. Oh, I'm in chat. I can leave you a little shit. Oh, uh, she's hoping Felon Fox is going to hang out, I think. At your place, bro. Oh, my God. She's like, I'm out. You guys can spend some time together. <sighs> In chat, I didn't get a notice saying you were online. All I keep getting is Kobe death notice. Ah. Wow. That's so sad. Shwiggity shwooty. Anywho. Yeah. Anyhow. Thanks for listening to Finishing Gates. Again, if you guys have stories that paranormal and strange, unexplained. <sighs> if you have so alien bad. stories, if you know about lizard people, if you have some real cool true crime stuff to talk about us, if you know Kobe Bryant, Hit us up at vanishinggates at gmail.com. You know, the Kobe brand. If you're Fallon Fox, definitely hit us up. Because I would love to live stream a one on one with you and Jack here. <laughs> I think I'd. I'm don't pretty sure watch Fallon that. Fox is still tearing me apart. Pretty sure. I think you outweigh him by training. like a buck fifty. Got training where I don't yeah. have training. Man, you're, uh, you're right. You know what? Size is the only thing that matters in this world. Training is unimportant. And that's what Fallon thinks. S insanity. Oh, God. Yeah, we're hitting on Fallon Fox, and I don't care. Okay. I don't like guys that beat up women. Goodbye, Sorry. everybody. <laughs> also, uh, everyone go love Joe Rogan some more and the Paranormal Patriot, and we heart you in the face. We'll be back next Sunday at 7 if Facebook hasn't canceled culture. After this, goodbye, everybody. Again, you, you keep doing that. You're gonna do it right now. Bye, everybody.